Hello there, quarantined world. My name is Sonika Chopra. I'm an actor and a life coach. And since I'm sometimes referred to as a happiness coach, I figured what better time to make happy videos than now. Welcome to day four, video four. I'm feeling privileged today. I have met a few 90 year olds at the fag end of their life. They still don't have a lot of answers to life's questions. And regardless of how hard it came to me, some dose of wisdom has come to me at my age. So I don't have to be 90 and still clueless. I feel privileged not just that I have this wisdom but I also have the capacity to share it with others. It is this wisdom that keeps me going in times such as these. When a lot of people around me are anxious, scared, upset, worried, stressed, depressed, I find that I'm naturally able to stay calm and peaceful and grateful, positive, accepting and looking forward to this whole thing with curiosity rather than being anxious about it. So after sanitizing my body, mind and soul today, I went for a little walk downstairs in the building garden and uh, met a four year old girl on a bicycle who was looking as bored as me being all alone. So instead of strolling like a caterpillar, I ended up having a race with her while she was cycling and I ran. It was the best workout I've had in a long time. <laughs> this little four year old girl and me, we parted with a smile after having a long intense spiritual discussion about the state of the planet today. <laughs> I'm actually done with the activity of the day, which I had planned would be to sit on a swing in my garden and do absolutely nothing for half an hour. So I didn't look at the phone. I didn't make any phone calls. I just sat and stared and listened to words and sounds around me, which did not include traffic. <laughs> it was fun. So now that most of us are sitting at home, we find ourselves at close quarters with other people around us, including family members, relatives. If you look closely at the dynamics of a family, you'll understand that there are some people in the family who are natural givers and there are some people in the family who are natural receivers. What I know for sure is that some of us who are natural givers need to start being open to the concept of receiving and those of us who are natural receivers need to start giving and when i say giving or receiving i mean time attention acts of service whatever only when each one of us becomes comfortable accepts and starts receiving and giving almost in equal measure can there be peace in any household one unique gratitude that i have today is the luxury to be able to stare into space and do nothing so I saw this picture on the internet of a very old lady and the caption said, so here's Debbie who's 31 years old and she's just been homeschooling her kids for the past four hours. <laughs> okay. I have to stop laughing at my own jokes, but well, they're not my own jokes. <laughs> Thank you for giving me a part of your quarantine time to watch this video today. If you like it, hit a thumbs up. If you like it a lot, hit subscribe. If you like it a real lot, share it. And if you don't do any of these, I still wish you a lot of love, happiness, acceptance and good, excellent mental and physical health. <laughs>